Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick. I'm just going to show you how to fill in a background using a shot I took last week. And so I want to obviously extend out the background really quickly. So all I'm going to do is jump to the lasso tool. In this case, I'm actually going to use the polygonal one so I can just draw lines. All right, so I'm just going to literally draw lines along here. That just means I'm not holding down the alter option to do stuff. So now I'm just going to go shift backspace. And I'm going to make sure that fill is set to content aware and click OK. Same along here. I'm actually going to have to do slightly past the line here because I wanted to get rid of all of the bottom to make it consistent. Double click there to finish it off. You can go edit fill. It's the same thing. And then we'll fill it in. Now it's not as clean as I'd like, but it actually it looks fine. I'm going to do exactly the same thing here then. Okay, and same thing again, right? So, yeah, it's not too bad there. What I might do is just press J here, Shift J, move it until it gets. I'm just pressing Shift J until I get the normal spot. Uh, healing, not or not spot healing, but just healing itself. Line it up and then just paint it there. Nope, redo that. Didn't quite get that lined up straight. Sometimes when you're using the pen tool, it doesn't line up straight. Now, let's say that this here hadn't given me a correct line, which it doesn't always do. All right, so I'm just going to grab the history brush for a second and just show you what happens if I, if I don't do that. Just the history brush is to get rid of that altogether, right? So let's say I hadn't been using the polygonal tool and I was just using, say, the ordinary lasso tool. So we start drawing here. If I go past the edge here, see the way it pulls in like that? Well, to stop that happening, uh, let's command E, get rid of that. After you started to draw, if you hold down the Alt or Option key, it lets you draw outside the edge. Right, so now I'm going to do the fill in there, right? So because I've gone past the line, right, I have no floorboard, right? So the floorboard looks a bit weird. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to heal and I'm going to select the patch tool from there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, where do I want it to be? Well, I kind of want it to be somewhere there. And for the area for patching, I'm going to actually select one of the lines, one of the areas of the line. And um, I probably haven't done quite enough there. I didn't quite do that right. And um, so let me just redo that because I've messed that up. And what did I mess up? I didn't select enough of the right areas. Um, in actual fact, what I could do is I could actually cheat here a little bit. Okay, and I could select here. And then when the selection, oop, when the selection is made, I can then switch to the patch tool and it'll have used that selection as well. So that's another little trick. Hopefully I've lined that up enough now. Right, there we go. So now I've put in more of a bit of the floorboard so it looks like there's a natural floorboard there as well. Again, if I wanted, I could do some tidy up um, by cloning in here to make them match up a little better or healing in there to make it match up a little bit better. So um, uh, so shift command N or shift control N for a new layer. Again, shift uh, backspace for a thing. Um, for fill, and what I can do is I can actually show you the history. So that's kind of the before and the after. Lots of people start on a duplicate layer, but that's one way of getting stuff back if you just need to see that. So that is what we have added in with our content aware fill. So folks, obviously, if you like this, uh, do subscribe to the channel. I'm going to, as I work and I'm doing Photoshop stuff as well as Lightroom stuff, I'm just going to make these really short videos that have no intro or any of that kind of stuff. Um, as I'm doing things, just stuff that I might find helpful for you to know as well. So please do subscribe.